Hey there, welcome to the big board and welcome to the, uh, I guess, introductory comments on Marika Makur. Uh, we're looking at this title because it all fits into the chronological World War II walkthrough that we're doing. And uh, this uh, will all be taking place in uh, 1940. And we will be looking at this uh, going forward from November uh, 1940 all the way through to uh, I think this wraps up June 41 and uh, if you look at this from the context of what we were doing with DAT2 and the Blitzkrieg legend and Case White it uh, makes a nice flow. Uh, one thing we haven't done is looked at the Finnish war uh, but I've yet to find a title that I'm excited about playing. Now this particular, let me just uh, Turn this air conditioner off. That's better. I don't feel like I have to yell at you now. This particular title has a Europa title. It's, it was made in 1979. It has a significant number of special rules. Uh, there are rules for <coughs> zones of control extending uh, across borders, whether they do or don't, depending on the nationality. Uh, these are the Yugoslavian forces. These are the Italian forces of uh, uh, annexed Albania and are uh, positioned to invade Greece. And Greek, the Greeks are the orange forces. Now, this is the Greek border here. This is Bulgaria, just there. And the German border is uh, further up to the north, up that way. And uh, Hungary is up, uh, is up here. I don't know if you can see that or not, but just, uh, just, where are we? Oh, you're all the way down there. Hang on a second. So up here, up here is Hungary. So it's a, it's a long, skinny battle, I guess. But we're focused on, uh, on Italy at the moment. And Italy uh, clearly... <laughs> is walking into this one uh, somewhat unprepared uh, although there are some nice reinforcements coming turn one I think the and the way so the way the game is set up really uh, it seems like the Italians are destined to fail and do poorly against the Greeks which will activate the Germans who will then uh, and in the meantime while that's all while that clock is ticking for them to activate Yugoslavia is uh, uh, pacing itself as to whether or not it's going to have a coup. That coup is measured off of the victory point accumulation by the Allies. And once the victory point accumulation doubles the Italians or the, the Axis forces and is at least 30, then there can be a coup and we can also roll for intervention. Uh, and in the meantime, then, that also factors in the uh, Commonwealth forces entering the fray to support uh, the Greeks uh, as part of their uh, obligations under the treaty that they have with Greeks. So it's a, it's a somewhat uh, complicated political uh, situation. And uh, a lot of the rules, uh, it, it all breaks down to a die roll to, uh, with, uh, with DRMs to uh, work out who, who's entering, who's not whether the Greek uh, government disappears into exile, whether the British uh, evacuate or not, uh, who's going to invade uh, Crete, which is... Uh, oh, I've got this locked, so let me just try to do this. Uh, Crete is just down here, right here. Uh, and in fact, Crete may end up being the, uh, the deciding factor for a lot of... Uh, a lot of the game, if you are in control of Crete, it bumps your victory level up by one level. So uh, <coughs> we'll see how that all plays out. There may be uh, some, a little bit of gamesmanship going on with who controls that and when. Uh, as I said, there's some, there's some rules regarding zones of controls that do or don't extend across borders, and there are uh, rules, uh, for instance, uh, this section of the map here has to be garrisoned until uh, a certain uh, criteria are met in terms of the number of units that are along here, which is going to be very difficult to achieve. 
And that is all just to try and tie in uh, some historical things that happened with the Greeks being fearful of the Bulgarian uh, intervention, uh, which you know never really eventuated. That's why historically uh, a lot of the, the, the Greek forces were here when the Italians were coming in this way. So this side of the map here has uh, a significant amount of, um, of uh, Greek forces. Let me just scoot that across a little bit for you. Really doing a crappy job of camera work tonight. Sorry about that, guys and girls. Uh, so there's the, these forces here that have to stay in this pocket uh, until they reach a, a combat factor or regimental uh, size, uh, no, a total of a number of uh, regiments size here. Uh, I've got a spare unit. I don't know why he's here. We need to find him, which is on the back of the OOB, unfortunately. The reinforcements are on the back of the, of the setup chart and I've kind of got the, the units laid out for the next couple of turns. So I'm going to try and slide them out and work out where he goes. I think he's a reinforcement. Right, so that's really it. We're going to get started in, uh, you know, in the next little while. I'm going to go make myself a nice iced water or iced tea or something. And we will uh, we'll get started and we'll talk to you soon and let you know how things uh, pan out uh, for the opening phases of the Italian-Greek War.